so the the original routing of the capillary tubes uh, follows this line around. Um, it's not all that necessary. It can be exposed in on its own. So that's what I'm gonna do um, because uh, it's easier. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap it over it and then send it to the bank. And then it'll have its little home back. It's gonna end up going inside of this pipe here. And then we'll do the same with the smaller one. Now, the smaller one, uh, the .031, comes in 10 foot lengths. So, we have to use two of them, which means we're gonna have to couple them. And we do that using a little piece of quarter inch copper. I'll just make a couple real quick. You want to use a long enough piece because again you're going to want your um, your ends to go fairly deep inside so they're not going to get clogged with the silphos when you're doing your your soldering or brazing or whatever you want to call it. It's probably been the proper term. <laughs> brazing. My fingers hurt. So the way I do this is I uh, just go ahead and put one end inside, about halfway in, so you can kind of use your fingers to measure about how far halfway is, and then I squeeze it, and I squeeze it. And I squeeze it. You don't want to squeeze it too hard. You just want to squeeze it to the point where it um, grips onto the capillary tube a little bit. So right now I could yank it off. It'd be hard to get back in, so I won't do that. But I still could. And then, um, you see there's still an opening here. So I'll just use the tip of my pliers to squeeze that shut all the way, all the way down. Uh, this is a, my own technique that I've used. Uh, as far as I know, they don't make couplers for capillary tubes um, because oftentimes if we need a capillary tube this long, you would buy it in bulk, but we don't buy in bulk. So you do that on both sides, uh, then obviously solder it up, and uh, you'd be good to go.